Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and you may recall a while back I posted this video of the Ferrari FFXK. So this is Ferrari's, I guess, racing car for the track because it's not street legal. Now anyway, that video prompted a, a question from a reader here, uh, Lucas, uh, Luca, I sorry if I mispronounced your name, but it doesn't get better than this. How can you repost videos like this without YouTube closing down your account? Thank you. So that's the question. Uh, how am I able to post this video, which was clearly not made by me, onto my YouTube channel? And the answer is actually quite simple. I actually have permission from Ferrari to use this video. And in this video, I want to show you how you can use other people's content for your own benefit. In this case, uh, using Ferrari's video to uh, as my own. Right? So uh, let's let's begin. Let's begin. First of all, I'll let me stop this video right from going because it's it's bugging me. <laughs> all right. Like as I said, um, I'm able. To, I have permission from Ferrari to use the video because I am a member of Ferrari's. Press, uh, press, cool, press media login. I'm not, I'm not sure what they call it. Uh, you see, because I'm a blogger and I'm a YouTuber, to a lot of uh, Fortune 500 companies or big companies, I am considered a member of the media, and as such, I can get a media login. You see, this video. Let's go to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, let's go to Ferrari right here. So this is Ferrari's media site. The most, uh, virtually all big corporations have a media site for members of the automotive media or whatever media, like whether it's CNN. Like, and, and media can range from anyone from CNN to bloggers like me. So in my case, what I did was uh, I found Ferrari's media site at media.ferrari.com and then I register. And so you, you, you have a login, you go register, you fill in your information, basically your, you create a, your email address, your, your name, uh, what media outlet you belong to, uh, you, answer, you answer this question, and then you apply, and then someone at Ferrari Media would look at your application, you know, check out your blog, and they will determine if you are you know, good enough to be media for them. And if you are, they will give you a media login and you can log in. So in my case here, so let me log into my uh, Ferrari media site here and we'll show you what is inside here. All right, so we'll log into hold on here. Ferrari media, here you go. Login. All right, so this is uh, Ferrari's media site and what members of the media get when they log into it. And in the media site, is where you will find photos and videos that the media can use for their content creation. You see, a lot of the time when you see those uh, road test videos, like a car and driver, motor trend or whatever, you see the guy, they're driving the car. So they're driving the car and then once in a while they would zoom outside to the car and you see them driving around the road and stuff. Oftentimes, the shot of them, the shot of the car outside, zooming around the canyon roads or whatever, was not done by the review company, was not done by car and driver, was not done by motor trend. It was actually, those shots were actually supplied by the manufacturer, or in this case, Ferrari. Yeah. Because, uh, so all the time, the only time you see is them inside driving the car. It's like, and I'm doing driving with John Chow. If I want, you know, I can go to Tesla's media site and then get a whole bunch of B-rolls of the Tesla Model X driving around the city and stuff. And so I'm driving, and I say, hey, I'm driving, and I could just cut to me outside driving. That's just, and that's what, um, that's how, the, that's what these media sites are for. The, the media sites are for B-rolls, the cars driving around. It's to save time and, uh, I guess, money for the outlets so they don't have to do much, much work to produce their content. So inside Ferrari's media site, you know, I can look at, uh, I can get pictures of all their cars. So here's the new F8. Tributo, here's the 488 Pista, and on oh, the new F90 Stradale, right? So let's look at the new, the new F8. So it's the F8, and you can see, I can go to the photos. These are all the photos of the F8 here. 
And these are all media photos that I can download. See, this is down. I can download any of these photos, and I'm allowed. I am allowed to use it because Ferrari gave me a license to actually use their content because I'm media. I'm media, right? So uh, let's go back again, and I'll show you the. Uh, go back. Yeah. So here's the new F90 Stradale, right? So you see, here's the video. And this is a, and here's a video of the F90 Stradale. Oh yeah. So I am able to download this video and upload it to YouTube, and which I've done. I, I actually posted this video on my YouTube channel recently. You can see it. So. I got, let me turn off that sound. Okay, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. All right, so if I want this video, I just download it. Click download, and yeah, and it will download. It will download, and I can upload it to YouTube, and and that's how I create content. So I have logged in for Ferrari. Uh, here's a Porsche. All right, so uh, any Porsche, I got press kits. Uh, this is yeah, this is uh, the new 911, and uh, all the company's news. I can grab videos from all grab videos as well as photos from Porsche. Uh, here is uh, Mercedes. So these are all, this is the, this is the, the GLSs here. And you can see they have 1,046 photos that I can use. So these are all the photos and they're, they're huge photos, like wallpaper size. And here's all the videos I can use. So here's uh, 20 videos. I can use any of these videos. So take an idea of one of them. So it's, yeah, cool. And I can search by cars, vehicles. Like I see, here's the AMG lined up here. Cool. So here's the AMG GT. Here's a video. Got all the videos here. So check out the video. So I can download the video if I want. I can play it if I want. I can yeah, click download if I want it. So let's see. Driving scene. Yeah, see. Yeah. So there you go. So uh, I. Yeah, this is the video I can use, and that's kind of cool. The nice green uh, AMG GTR driving around, you know, nice sound. Ooh, nice crackling exhaust. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. So, so how do you monetize this? Well, one way is to you know do what I did here. Upload it to uh, upload it to YouTube, and uh, I'm getting views on it, and I have it. YouTube puts ads on it. I'm making ads. So, an example that's the Ferrari one is one example. Another one I did is uh, back in 2012. I did this one called the uh, well. I showed the 2012 Mercedes ML 350. All the safety features that the car had, or the car has, and check it out. Since I uploaded this video, over 2 million views. So that's a way to get views on your channel. And and when you look at, you know, how much it costs to say, uh, you know, get these kind of footage, like, uh, for example, here's this AMG GTR footage, right? This driving around here. I'm going to return the volume. So if you look at uh, if, how much it would cost to produce this kind of footage, first of all, you know, you're going to need uh, you're gonna need a, a car to follow, a couple of chase car to follow the car around to take all the various driving angle. And I know this video also included uh, some drone shots as well because uh, they're doing some overhead shots and stuff. So you need a drone, you need a couple of chase cars, and you need to go for the route, go for the driving route at least two or, two or three times. So it's probably an all day filming for, for Mercedes. This took all day to film. And if you were to do that, I mean, the cost of Couple of chase car, drone, professional camera crew. You're looking at, I would say, minimum ten thousand dollars for just for this video shoot alone. Now, now to Mercedes, you know, ten grand is nothing, but to you and me, you know, ten grand is a, it's a, it's a significant amount of money. But because I'm a member of Mercedes Media, uh, I get to use this video that Mercedes created, spent all the money. I could use this for free. And so you can imagine uh, this is a great, a great resource that as a blogger, 
and a YouTuber, you can tap into. You just basically have to be worthy of being considered media. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, I say you need a, a blog that's been around for a while. You need to have the topic. You need to have content on there. You need to basically show that uh, you regularly update your site and therefore you qualify for media login. And once you got that, you have a license to use all this stuff. So let me show you another way to, uh, you can make money from this. Uh, this website here is called Serious Wheels, seriouswheels.com. And as you can see, it's just basically, you know, photos of cars that you can download. And the thing is, every one of these photos here are all supplied from the respective media site of the automotive manufacturer. Like in this case, uh, like uh, this Rolls Royce here. All these photos, they are supplied by Rolls Royce media site. This site did not went out and take these photos. He just basically downloaded from Rolls Royce, uploaded it to his site, and now he's making money from these Google ads. These Google ads. So it's just free content that you don't pay for, that you don't that you're allowed to use, upload to a site, making money from it. So amazing, isn't it? So that that is uh, that is how it's done. So basically, if you have a blog that's been around for a while and you have good content on it that's relevant to what you want, that's in your niche, like in uh, if you have an automotive blog in this case, you have to have a little blog about, auto, uh, about cars and stuff or a specific niche. Uh, you've been around for a while, you've you you regularly updated. You can go to the sites of these companies and apply for the media, apply for media pass. And for the, for the majority of sites, how, how do you find out if they have a media pass? Like how do I find out what portion of a media pass was simple? Uh, you go to the footer, like this, I want to push it, go to the footer and you'll see in the footer, you see media login. Or just do a Google search and like, for example, uh, you know, for example, go, uh, Audi, Audi, Audi media site. And the Audi media, Audi media, go. Audi media center English. Boom, and there you go. And that log here, here's Audi's media site. So I get all information on there. And then uh, if I want to use any of the photos, they'll, they'll ask me to, to log into my Audi, my Audi media credential. I go in there, okay, I can download, and I can download all the, uh, all, all the videos. I can download all the photos and use them for blog posts. And uh, I can make money on it. And I don't have to hire a professional photographer. I don't have to hire a, uh, a video team to create all this. And I don't have to go rent the car. So, there you go, a little trick that I use to create, to use free content to make money online with it. I hope this helps you out. I hope uh, you get value from this. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please like and share this video. And uh, if you're brand new here, please subscribe to my channel. This is what I do. I give you tips on how to uh, leverage content to make money online and live the dot com lifestyle. See you guys next time.